Yeah, we're beginning our journey into the oh, abyss and uh, is it actually filming then? <laughs> yep. Oh. So recently I've been on my DV bronze expedition in Rendlesham Forest along with six other people. Charles. Two and two makes five. No it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren. Ellie, Jemima and Katie. Splat in your hair. Right. And the overall aim of the expedition was to travel 18 kilometres to Randlesham Forest from our drop-off point, camp there, and then travel another 15 kilometres on our second day to our second drop-off point. And that was mainly it. We were just walking for the whole day. Just keep on walking. Remember the time when we stole the whole day And nobody knows it, we took it away And it will be forever Navigate your way through the bitter, harsh environment of the forest. Keep on going. Thanks, Charles. Is this I'm sure it's a thing. Yeah. But along the way, we did encounter some other things. Like, we saw another group on their way to the campsite. We've met some fellow travellers. It appears that they are also lost. I know where we are. I know where we are. Right. We've come down there. What we, what you've just about oh, to do, is go on that thing. Guys, my coal box fell off. <laughs> so after all of that, it was obviously time for lunch. It's our first break of the day. And then this happened. Oh, <laughs> just leave it behind, just... Can you my guys, camera? Go. Yeah, so I can take a photo of it. No! <laughs> do you want me to help you down? No, I don't <laughs> Then it was time for one last break, and we were on the home straight. Oh, no, that'd be awesome. The last stop. Guys, I want to get this over. Oh, you're to build. Guys, I think we found it. There's a tent through there. The promised land. Yes, Alex, the promised land. So now begins the long arduous task of setting up the tent here. This is the finished tent. The child's in there. We don't have much room. <laughs> no, we can keep that sideways though. Okay. Well, we've done it. Put our tent up. We got here. So with the tents put up, it was time to light the stone. Is that on? Yeah, it's just a really... Check it with your hand. Put your hand in it. Yeah, it's on. Put the pasta in the pot. <laughs> Drain the pasta. Take a chill pill. This is uh, Lauren draining the pasta. And, uh... <laughs> paranoia. Oh, oh no, pasta! No. <laughs> How much pasta? No, oh, Lauren! No, no, still... Almost get killed by Alex. Uh, Alex, what you... Oh. Wait, oh no. Oh no. Alex pasta? has got enough. <laughs> yeah, we need more. It was all going fine. Pasta was cooked. Sauce was done. And then we tasted it. Uh, what was the overall taste, would you say? Metally. Yeah. It was fine at the start. I'd say that. Yeah. Pretty messily. <laughs> it turned out that in the bottom of the pasta sauce pot there was some methylated spirit and we ate it. So basically we ate lighter fluid pasta which wasn't very nice. Under much uh, investigation by Katie who just tasted it mm. we've decided it's definitely the sauce. Yeah. So uh, instead we're going to eat this. <clears throat> oh, oh, whoops. That's Ellie running into the forest to spit it out. Not very nice. So instead, we're going to eat this. Alex is ready to eat meatballs and pasta. Yeah. Looks lovely, Alex. Yeah. Let's cook that. Then it was time to crawl into our newly made tent and sleep for the night. Our breakfast. Hot chocolate. Breakfast biscuits. And cocoa pop in a bag. 
So you're just packing up everything. Yep. It's going quite well. We're going to try and leave at 8 o'clock. Just need to pack away the tents and the food and our bags. Get shoes on and things. And then just keep walking. If the darkness came tomorrow, this came, could I keep you? Some pigs. We had another lunch break, and the best bit getting drenched by water from a sprinkler in a field. And then we started walking again. Good morning, so we're on the home stretch now. Just got to go up this road and then we're going to get dropped back. It didn't take long for us to hop on the minivan and leave Rendlesham Forest for good. But overall, I think it was a good experience. Not sure if I'm going to do silver yet. I'll decide later. Thanks for watching. That's my. D of V diary kind of thing and um, I'll leave you with this Yay! <laughs> and so as we venture in as we venture further on our journey we encounter the natural wildlife we have birds. to speak in hushed voices yes, we have to speak like David Attenborough and here we have birds upon a marsh ah. As you can see, the snouted animals are gathering around and they are talking to pigs. <laughs> and as you can see here, the pig is shaking like a dog. In fact, we found that this animal is much like a dog. In fact, I think, who shouted out that it was like a dog? And a bear. Yes, according to the leading expert in biology, Lauren Kelsey, the pig is much like a dog and a bear. And so. The wild child is released up. into the wilderness. Oh my God, we should all do that. They watch as this majestic beast walks away to certain death. We're not very good in the wild. Can't survive very long. Are you ready? Who's <laughs> 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 up? So it's time for Alex to hunt. Oh no. <laughs> Alex is on the hunt. He's lost his hat! Hey, that's so funny. <laughs> Unlucky, Alex. Next time, next time. Next time, on Human Watch. Don't film this. Get back to the thingies. Should we just go straight? Oh. Oh no.